Let's run through the packing away process of the camber trailer and uh, we'll explain a few of the methods to use along the way. There's five main poles to remove from inside the tent, which always lay on the left hand mattress so, so they're easily accessible next time we set up the tent. So just remove the two side poles going down to the floor. And the last one to come out is the pole across the end wall, which has the 90 degree elbows on it. Lower down our two doors, being our screen door and our main door. Just roll them down. And we zip the right hand side of the main door. I'll explain why later. Finish disconnecting the awning gutter. Pull our four corner pegs out. And we'll just raise the canvas up over the corner of the bed case. Apply a little bit of pressure on the end window and down it comes to a nice work light. And this is a big reason why the camp is so easy to pack up is the height that we're working at. I then come to this corner, pull the wall right in towards the centre of the bed. We lift up one frame, nice little fold, second frame where your window goes and this draft skirt which covers the bottom frame only. So we run that all the way across the top. Once again working from the top down. So as you can see already we're getting a nice clean edge around the bed case. Now this is the reason we zip the right hand side of the door so we can get to the three pull rings. And these disengage a barrel across the top of the three main tent frames so that we can fold the bed case in half in a moment. Just lift the frame, tuck in the last little bit of canvas on the edge there. And now the floor's ready to come up on top. Pull the floor up roughly to the first stitch line you see on the roof and then fold those edges under. Bring this back over on itself. Once again with a, a nice fold on the corners. A couple of legs on this end of the bed case only. And that's just to add a little bit of extra support to the entry exit part of the bed. Okay, ready to fold it in half. Push it straight over. Lift up the rear latches on the back of the trailer. You notice while putting your bag on the end of the bed frame, you'll never lose it. Remove your bed extension arms. Raise the, the other side latch, use the pull handles and slide the bed case back. Tuck in any canvas that may have come out and just squeeze the area up. Once again, just squeeze it out. Spin the bed case around, which will only spin one way. Push it until it stops, locating your barrel bolt. And just kick the, the bed legs in towards the back of the camper. Lift up the little bed latch. And that bed case supports itself basically now. Slide it straight in. 
lift up the spare wheel, latch it up, drop the safety pin in, and that's the tent packed away. And now pack the awning away. There's compression springs in these poles so as the awning doesn't drop down when you release it. So we'll just lock it off at this height here. So generally we remove our two side poles first. to the guy ropes which you need to use no matter what the weather's like so you never know where a bit of wind's going to come from now generally this is a job that's it's handy to get a bit of help with but you can do it by yourself with a little bit of practice what we'll do we'll just Kick the legs in towards the camper. Fold our canvas over on the, the top flaps. Insert the crank handle into the end of the awning box. And we just give it a number of winds. latch it off there and now what I'll do I'll shorten the awning legs little straps here to hold them in place as I mentioned generally you, you can have someone else hold this end for you It's just simply a matter of winding the awning up to about there. And we can just roll this a little bit under, put the guy ropes in. And that's what I like about this awning the poles, the guy ropes, everything have its own little home. So it's not eating into any of the storage space for all the other camping gear. Make sure these are done up. Sit them comfortably in the bottom. Remember to remove your crank handle. Latches with little safety clips through there. Pull the awning down till it locks in place. Do the thumb screws up. Raise our rear trailer legs. And then we should always do a final check once you're hitched up to the vehicle and before departing to make sure that you've put everything nice and tight and packed everything away from your campsite.